and uh, then we'll get going from there. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you are a state specialist or a state um, or one of our support staff people out in the counties, you already know what I'm going to talk about today, but hopefully this will give us an opportunity to um, talk a little bit more in depth about what's going to be coming uh, down the pipe in terms of um, refreshing our NDSU Extension Service brand. Um, this is your opportunity to ask more questions, um, and so please feel free to do that in the uh, chat pod um, at any time, and I'll try to get to them as soon as possible. Um, Becky Koch can't be with us today. She's um, out of the office, so I'm kind of handling this on my own. So I will try to uh, both monitor questions and um, present at the same time with my screen. Sometimes that can get a little uh, crazy. So like I said, if I don't get to your question right away, I'll try to get to it there at the end. So um, for those of you out in the counties, if you're a um, extension agent out in the county, this is the first time you might be hearing about some of the refreshed branding items that we've got coming down the pipeline. So I, like I said, welcome your questions. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to share my screen and away we go. Well, can you all see my screen yet? Wait, oh, there we go. Can somebody give me a thumbs up in the in the Here it comes, box? Kelly. Okay, perfect. There we go. All righty. So, hope you're wonderful. Thanks, TJ. Um, so. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about um, some refreshed branding materials that um, will be available for your use. Um, to start out, I'd just like to take you a little bit through the history of how these kind of came about. Um, two years ago, Chris Borboom um, convened a committee to kind of study uh, what we had out there in terms of marketing and branding materials. Um, to go back even further, about eight years ago, a study was conducted called the Copernicus Study that basically um, uh, studied what North, citizens of North Dakota um, thought of the NDSU Extension Service. There was tons of data collected. Um, the study is many, many pages long. <laughs> but one of the most interesting parts of the study, and, and it's a positive, is that um, North Dakota did very well in terms of extension name recognition. Something like 76% of North Dakotans knew um, about or had rec recognized the name extension and kind of knew what we did. Um, but that was eight years ago and a lot has changed with the, um, you know, social media, um, you know, new technologies. We're not quite sure uh, what our kind of public value, we haven't done a study really about our public value in quite a long time. So there is a need, there was a need to kind of figure out where our branding materials were at and um, to kind of come up with a plan to um, refresh those. So um, the committee started off with kind of doing a communications audit. Basically, we rounded up every single thing we could find that was um, still out there on shelves, whether that was on shelves at the print and copy center um, in the Ag Communications Department that was available for purchase. Um, we talked to county extension offices about what they still had on their shelves. Here's what we came up with. We came up with the fact that we have a lot of things still out there. Um, take you through them super quick just so you can get a, a good history <laughs> of what was out there. We've got um, we had rack cards with um, a logo that was many, many years ago. Um, this was our most current brochure, and we believe it was developed, I think, about 10, 10 to 15 years ago. That was the most current extension brochure that was out there. Um, we had some rack cards for our different uh, program areas. 
in my system just a second to catch up. Uh, we have this uh, document called Who We Are that was kind of an ex internal document. Um, a uh, little business card size uh, purpose statements, um, more older brochures. This is our current social media cover photos, um, more brochures, folders. And we also have a lot of things going out um, in the counties that, and this is not to call out any certain county. Um, you all are doing what you can to, you know, use the correct logos and to promote things going on in your county. So this is, like I said, not a not a call out for any county, but um, basically when you put all this together, when you see all of this on screen, you can see that it doesn't present a very cohesive look and feel. We've got multiple logos, lots of different colors, all kinds of design schemes. We had a lot going on. So we recognize the need to, through this, through this audit of materials, we recognize the need for kind of a refresh. It started off as a, to be honest, as a rebrand. We kind of thought, do we need um, a new tagline? Do we need a whole new, um, you know, let's talk about our logo. We all know, let's be honest about the fact that our logo is hard to work with. That's mandated by university guidelines. We knew we, we found out we couldn't change that. Um, and extending knowledge, changing lives, we felt was an accurate tagline to describe what we do. It was, it's also uh, a tagline used by Cooperative Extension as a whole um, in, or in many states and, and um, nationally. And so we felt that that tagline um, okay. still, de still described what we did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, so we had talked about a rebrand and then um, after talking to some people in the NDSU marketing department, um, it was kind of determined that instead of a rebrand, we really just needed a refresh. Now, I will say that I know that branding is so much more than just printed material or just logos. It's it's about the way we interact with our clientele. Um, it's about the relationships we form. It's about the way um, our offices are viewed out in our counties and at our RECs in terms of being friendly and research-based. Branding is so much more than that. If you've been to um, the, the branding presentation I gave at Fall Conference, we talked about intangible branding and tangible branding. So I know it's so much more, but so today we're just focusing right now on kind of the visual side of branding. So um, I say in the scope that we recognize branding is more than a logo, hat, pen, or letterhead, but the materials that we're working on right now are, we hope that they'll give you all the tools to help our clientele recognize our research, our programs, our events, our information, our people, and so that they can connect who we are with what we do. So it gives us that consistent look and feel. So when we started thinking about this refresh, we knew we had some goal. We needed to, to develop some goals. Um, came up with four main things. Whatever we developed, we wanted it to be consistent. We wanted to develop a look and feel that we could use on a multitude of items um, and that could be used consistently for a long period of time. We wanted to create materials that were purposeful, that they didn't just look good, that they had a true purpose in helping us tell our story and do our job better. And by um, when I say doing our job better, that leads me to the next goal. We wanted our people, whatever we developed, um, to help them be more efficient and agile. And you think, well, agile, what does that mean? Am I going to run faster, jump higher? No. Um, we wanted to develop a set of tools so that when it comes time to market or advertise one of your programs, that you don't have to spend hours being a graphic designer. That's not that's not what you're um, that's not what your expertise is. That's what our people do. But we know that you can't come to us. You don't have the money to come to AgCom every single time you need a um, flyer put together for your event. So we wanted to create some tools that so that you didn't have to sit down and go, okay, I'm putting on a um, presentation on, um, you know, whatever it may be. Um, I've got, you know, pest problems in the wheat crop and I'm going to give a talk on that and 
now I need or my support staff person needs to put together a flyer so she's going to go to Microsoft clip art and try to find a pest and a little piece of wheat and we're going to try to do this uh -uh. we're going to try to make um, that process a whole lot easier so you'll learn about that more in just a minute um, and finally we wanted to make sure that whatever we designed was fresh, that was modern, that it told a story about who we are and where our organization is going. So those are some of the goals that we had in mind when we sat down to um, kind of put together this branding refresh. So without further ado, I give you arrows. <laughs> and I know what you all are thinking, you're probably thinking, what, what is this? Well, they're pretty simple. This is not a new logo. Um, these arrows are what we're calling graphic identifiers. They um, are something that you'll see throughout um, a lot of these printed materials as just a way to tie all of our materials together. Yes, we normally have logos on them. Yes, almost all of these materials are NDSU yellow and green, but we felt like we needed some form of a like I said, graphic identifier to start to tie these together. Um, we wanted whatever this symbol was. We, you know, we we talked about all kinds of things. Is it a wheat shock? Is it um, outstretched hands? Is it what is the thing that we could use on a multitude of items um, that would help us look fresh and modern and 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 really, um, you know. Uh, be an example of the goals we set. So that's what we felt that these arrows did. They signify movement, moving forward, and um, and and that's what we want to be seen as, as a fresh organization who's always forward thinking. So um, like I said, they're not becoming part of the logo. They're just a graphic identifier, and I'd like to show you a little bit about how we're going to be using those. So first we came up with um, a list of materials that we felt like needed updated um, and we were starting with general extension materials. Um, some of you maybe have already seen um, the new uh, brand new extension service folder that um, is already available for sale in print and copy. Um, we're also working on a series of rack cards that are just very general. They can be slipped into an envelope, they can be set up on your desk at your county extension office if someone comes in and, and has any questions about what extension is or what they what we do um, these are the type of materials that you might provide for them so a folder a rack card um, what I call the who we are document which is essentially kind of an expanded rack card it goes into quite a bit of detail about some of our program areas um, you'll also see an expanded recruitment brochure an updated re recruitment brochure um, some changes to impact statements and note cards and there's the that's just kind of this where we're starting um, any materials that pop up that um, are are needed will also get this refresh look as well and I invite you if you um, can think of something that your county uses or that extension service uses as a whole that we haven't thought of please feel free to let me know in the comment section or shoot me an email afterwards so um, that's our, our first kind of list of general extension print materials that are really kind of external type materials that you'll see with a refreshed look and feel. So let me show you what some of those are going to kind of look like. Like I said, you might have already seen the, this is a um, JPEG of the folder that is available. You'll notice the um, arrows big on the side and then you'll also notice that the arrows have been incorporated into the extending knowledge changing lives tagline we thought that was a um, small way to use those arrows in kind of an inconspicuous way to um, create that forward movement and kind of signify that by extending knowledge we are changing lives they almost kind of act as an equal sign as well and so um, that was just a subtle way to use those as well um, updated extension service note cards. We've got a white version, kind of a stark version, and then we also have a more colorful version. You'll see these available um, in print and copy as well. I know a lot of our extension agents use them as thank you notes um, or to drop a little note to um, you know, one of their people, and so those are available for purchase as well. 
Um, I mentioned a rack card. Um, that's what uh, this this graphic is. Um, we are kind of perfecting this right now. We actually uh, have the language written. You'll see lovely Latin filler language right there right now, but we actually have the language written and, and are going through the proofing process with these. Um, and you'll also notice these little icons down in the corner. This is something that for right now, we're kind of in the development stages of, um, very beginning, but what these signify, not only do they have kind of using that arrow s scheme as well, um, they represent the four different program areas. And so we know that though we want all of our general extension material um, to be very cohesive with the green and yellow, we also know that sometimes that can um, get a little, you know, what people maybe have said is boring. And so we have talked about what's called a, you know, a, a se essentially a secondary color scheme for some of our program areas. They're not set in stone yet. Um, this might all change, but um, they, and, and we also would like to maybe represent some of our program areas with some icons. So you'll see um, this family in purple for family and consumer sciences, obviously 4-H, um, kind of a burnt orange with the leaf design for agriculture and the blue with the home for community vitality. So like I said, those are in the very preliminary stages and we're working with our uh, program area directors to finalize those as well. But it might be an opportunity to use some of these icons and alternate color schemes on things such as publications and um, you know event type flyers where these different program areas are represented. Oh, also see it in a different color scheme there as well. And um, like I said, so there's a whole, um, you know, suite of things being developed that are just general extension type materials. Now, um, also when it comes to social media, we didn't leave that out as well. Um, you'll also see quite a few branded um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, and program specific cover photos. Um, in fact, uh, our graphic designer just sent me an email today that he has a whole folder of them ready to go, and I about fell out of my chair there when I saw them. They are so cool. Um, there's about, I think there's about 25 different Facebook um, cover photos and 25-ish different Twitter cover photos right now that have all kinds of different uh, backgrounds that can be used. Um, on your county Facebook pages. We also um, will have individual county cover photos available for you as well, like we have in the past. So those are on a by request basis. If you'd like a new uh, Facebook cover photo for your county Facebook page, those are available with the updated branding as well. So let me show those off because I'm just so excited. It's not a huge departure from what we've done um, in the past, but um, as you'll see, um, we do have the updated with the arrows and also this um, arrow graphic identifier as well. What we want this, we want people to be able to, you know, in the past you maybe only had your county uh, Facebook cover photo as an option, but we know that, you know, seasons change, the types of programs that you're doing in your counties change all the time. Um, it might be harvest season, it might be back to school. Um, you know, we know that there's you know, those type of community activities are going on in your county and, and we want to be able, you know, you to be able to change out your cover photo to ref, to reflect what's going on in your county at that time. Um, it offers variety, but yet a, a way to still look cohesive and to have that refreshed brand. So I'll just kind of quickly go through some of these. If you have a photo, um, if you have something from your county that a photo taken in your county that you'd like to see turned into a Facebook cover photo or a Twitter cover photo, please submit that to us and we'd be happy to um, create that cover photo with your county specific uh, photo as well. So these are all Facebook cover photos. These are Twitter um, cover photos and they leave some open space there on the left hand side for your individual profile photo to come up so that's why these look the way they do but um, 
I just think these are neat and will be a great way to show variety yet still, like I said, keep that cohesive look and feel on our social media sites. Um, the next thing kind of coming down the pipeline is some signage and I um, couldn't get the photo loaded up in here in time. I just got it this morning, but um, we will have all new um, NDSU Extension Service pull-up banners here very shortly that are available for checkout um, with the different program areas and then also general extension ones as well. Um, we also can offer um, a personal, your personalized county signage as well. Ransom County Ag and Natural Resources just did a banner redo and I and I have the banner in my office and I have a photo but I just didn't get it into my presentation in time today because we just got it this morning but um so that's available and then something I'm also excited about is the opportunity to have um, event signage templates available we know that a lot of times that you might be putting on a program you know in the basement of the local uh, Lutheran Church or on the third floor of the courthouse or you know whatever that might be and you might have people that are looking for your program going on and so um, what better way to brand ourselves than to have a template that you can download and put your own logo in and maybe put um, an arrow pointing to that meeting or specific instructions about where that meeting is at so that people can follow that and get to your meeting easy without um, wandering all around <laughs> the area looking for your meeting. So that's kind of a, um, a set of signage templates that I think that will be really neat and usable for our people. So um, probably the thing that I am most excited about and um, all the credit goes to our graphic designers here in AgCom um, for the work that they've put in, but um, personalized templates um, are the thing that I think that, like I said, I'm most um, proud of and excited about when it comes to helping us look cohesive and present, um, you know, a unified branded extension effort. And so um, we are in the process right now of creating a set of templates um, they will be available in both Microsoft Publisher and as Microsoft PowerPoint templates. We know that some of our uh, people use PowerPoint as kind of a graphic design program. It does have some usability that way. And so we are creating a whole set of different types of templates for you to use to advertise your programs. Um, Right now, we have started with the eight and a half by 11 inch event template. Um, and what these are is it's a template that you go in and you download and it will have a specific set of instructions about how you upload your own information. Essentially, you'll, you'll, there'll be a variety of templates for you to choose from based on um, the information that you have, and we'll talk about that a little bit more in just a second. Um, you'll be able to upload your own photos, insert your county logo um, and your information, and it will already be NDSU Extension Service branded. So you don't have to be a graphic designer anymore. You don't have to worry about, is this the right font? And is this the, the right text size? Or do I have the right um, accommodations non-discrimination statement that will all be preloaded into these templates for you to go and download one and instantly plug in your information um, like I said we started off with eight and a half by 11 inch event templates but we also will have 11 by 17 inch big poster size ones um, postcard templates we know a lot of you send out postcards about your event um, newsletters both printed and if you do an online newsletter as well, brochures, PowerPoint templates, basically anything where we have tried to kind of cover our bases. I got great feedback from our support staff um, when I was out in North Dakota, traveling around North Dakota last week at some support staff conferences. So um, we're working on um, those as well. But right now we have about, uh, I'm not sure, I think there's about eight different eight and a half by 11 inch event templates that are designed right now and we're working on the guidelines for them and I'm hoping here within the next few weeks we will have them online as well. So let me kind of show you a little bit about 
what these are all about. I've just got the eight and a half by 11 inch ones and, and there's actually um, been quite a few more kind of added to our suite since then. So, um, but I'd at least like to just show you. Um, so we've got a variety of them. Essentially, if you, just depending on the type of information you have, maybe you do have three photos and you'd like to show off those photos um, with some information. Um, maybe you just have one photo and you'd like to put it as the background of a template. This would be one that would work. Um, that's where you would put in this photo. This bar here at the top is already preloaded in the template. You would insert you know, your program title, who's putting it on, a little bit of information about it, possibly a website where they can go for more information or to register, when, where. Um, you'd switch out the NDSU Extension Service general logo with your own county logo and your county Facebook page, and then all of this information will be preloaded. So you don't have to worry about going to find the correct statements. Um, I know a lot of our agriculture extension agents um, do kind of, or quite a few do like ag agent updates, especially in the summertime um, during planting and harvesting season. Um, so maybe you've got a, you know, something in your county is happening or you're seeing a lot of parasites or in cattle or you're seeing, um, you know, something going on crop wise and you want to put out quite a bit more information than just one paragraph. This might be a perfect template to use for ag agent update where you insert your professional photo, change this top to agriculture extension agent update, um, and insert your information and, and this could all be, you know, taken out as well. So this might be a nice template for that. Um, we'll also have those in black and white. Um, one of the comments we had from support staff, which I thought was incredibly valid and we definitely listened to was, this is a lot of color <laughs> on a page. And we realized that your printing situation out in the county probably might not allow for this amount of color. So we do have templates loaded that um, are, re are reversed where this is just an outline of yellow and this is just an outline of green. This is text is all switched to black so that super printer friendly um, and and hopefully won't be a drain on your ink and toner <laughs> um, out in your offices as well. So I said quite a few different varieties of these available both in color black and white. Um, some are color and photo heavy and some are very um, you know, simple and minimal. So I'm going to show you just a quick little kind of demo of how some of these might work. Um, this is one, this is actually um, one that's done in PowerPoint. And I'm going to just kind of go through, let's see here. I didn't take the time to have any photos ready or anything like that, so we're just going to do this on the fly like I was like I was really doing this. So let's say we wanted to change out this photo. Let's go see what we've got available. And let's see here. Here we've got this gentleman. Uh-oh. Looks like my photo was too large. Let's try something different. Here we go. Let's try this one. So essentially that just changes out the photo right into that space. I do have a little bit of overhang and so we can change that photo right there. David Ripplinger has a cattail management conference coming up. Now as you can see they aren't perfect. They're not going to be perfect. We know that um, we know that um, you know, 
sometimes you guys have programs that are longer than Sunday fun day or whatever was was in here. So there, you know, you're going to have to be able to work with them a little bit to make them a little bit more manageable. Uh, let's see here. Can we get up to there? They're not all, they're not going to be perfect, but they um, at least are going to allow us to hopefully, like I said, present that kind of cohesive look. What I what we're hoping is that someone that is traveling the state of North Dakota and walks into a convenience store in Beach, North Dakota, and walks into you know a convenience store in Fargo, North Dakota could recognize our extension material if it was hanging on a bulletin board um, that they would go, oh, that's that's the extension service um, based on our material. So um, these will become easier to work with and more intuitive. I generally don't work in PowerPoint online very much. Um, I would probably be using these in Publisher, so they're not, um, I'm a little, a little behind in terms of um, working in online PowerPoint, but those are essentially kind of the gist of how that works. You'll be able to insert your own photos and information and um, it will still retain that um, refreshed branding look and feel. So um, that's a little bit about what's coming down the pipeline. Um, you know, I want to reiterate about, um, you know, though we are working on these here in AgCom, um, we know that you all are the boots on the ground, that you're the, you're the true branders of our organization and what you do every day. And so um, we didn't want to create these templates to stifle anyone's creativity. We know that we've got a lot of people out there that do enjoy putting their own spin on things. But um, I think that it's very important in some of our um, kind of trying times, especially budget wise, that we um, really look at our, how our identity and our brand kind of kind of plays a role in making sure that um, our audiences know who we are. Like I said, I know that branding is more than a color scheme or it's more than a template. Um, you know, branding is really about creating a sense of community, um, but it helps when our community recognizes us and recognizes the work that we do. And I hope through um, this, like I said, consistent, cohesive, efficient, fresh branding refresh that we're able to better brand ourselves and um, and help people recognize who we are. So um, that's a little bit about what's coming down the pipeline. Um, like I said, I, I welcome your feedback. Does anybody at this time have any questions or comments about things you'd like to see um, things that you use in your office as well. I will also mention that um, I've gotten lots of questions about, um, you know, county signage, and that's something that we are working, whether that's, you know, out in front of your county offices or, um, you know, on your door or something like that. Um, we offer those services in AgCom, and we can help you design something that has a refresh look to it. So that's available. Um, some of the suggestion, other suggestions we had were um, uh, computer wallpapers. Um, so if um, you want to, uh, or a desktop wallpaper on your computer. So that's something that um, we're going to try to work on as well. Um, you'll see refreshed um, PowerPoint templates in terms of if you're actually presenting a PowerPoint presentation and and you want your slides to have this refresh look and feel, we've got those as well. Um, we've had some really great suggestions that we've added to our list of refresh materials. So um, like I said, please shout some out if you've got if you've got some ideas. Looks like we've got Ron. Um, maybe I missed it, but how about email signature templates? That's a great question, Ron. I think that um, that's already on the branding and communications website. There is a little section about what your email signature should look like, but I know that sometimes those can be kind of funny to play around with, so that's a great idea. Um, possibly adding the arrows to that to kind of give our 
email signatures, a little bit different um, kind of look. Yes, with the new arrow extending knowledge. Awesome, yes. Um, I think that's a, something to definitely think about um, and would give us a, um, like I said, fresh look and feel as well. I'm gonna, any other questions? I know that, um, like I said, I know that you all have materials that you all use out in the counties that we might not be aware of. Is there anything that we aren't, haven't thought of? No. Well, all right. Um, like I said, please let me know if you've got any questions. Um, we will be adding these templates uh, to the Branding and Communications website very soon. Um, like I said, the, gen the extension service folder is already available. I'm going to start my video and hold one up so you can see it here in my hand. So these are available for 50 cents in the print and copy um, in print and copy and like I said note cards are um, coming down the pipeline quickly as well so you'll start to see a rollout of all of these things here in the next month or so as they become available and become printed and um, we hope that you'll use them to help brand our information and like I said hope um, so that we can be seen as a um, cohesive team that's all wearing the same jersey is what I kind of like to think of it as. So um, thank you for your time today. I'm going to stay on for a few minutes if you've got any questions um, or have any suggestions and want to chat with me one on one. Um, since we're getting done a little bit early, I'll stay on for a few more minutes if you um, have any questions for me. So thank you all so much for your time today and um, uh, have a great rest of your day.